1895, and this is a soda bottle. Soda bottle from uh, Chris Volkman, Eau Claire, Wisconsin. Okay, yeah, cool. Hex got a mug base. Okay. Awesome. Nice, nice spot. No, I'm not too. There's definitely. That might not be a lot. That's the one. That's that's the one, Nate. That's the one, like. That's that just sinks right here, like a red tape. All right. So you're convinced that is. That one. I'm convinced. Okay. You are convinced on that one. Uh, this one will tell me for sure. That's not that deep. Yeah. Huh. That's a pretty. Yeah, it is. Five foot deep. Okay. Well, it'll be an easy hole to figure out. <laughs> Oops. I got smart that time. Older piece of salt clay stoneware. That's encouraging a little bit. Yeah, There's more of it. Be nice, wouldn't it? Well. You know the stand tail? Ancient. Ancient. A Alex David and Hamilton Chambers, 1870s. Really? Very 1870s cool. Bottle. We'll get a hole on them. Yeah. Gow, that's a heavy piece of glass too. Oh. Really? Yeah. So, you guys beat all the hell. You do. I got parts of one. He said, I can't finish. It's ancient. Huh? It's ancient. It is. Yeah, it's old piece of glass. It's got some glass Egg disease on it. It's pretty, it's actually pretty with the opalescence. Eggshells, too. Wow. Oh. Yeah, it looks like it's been in the ground a long time, huh? Oh, it has. And that says what on it? What's the bottle say? Cass and Tracy. All right, cool. Cass and Tracy, pharmacist, Eau Claire, Wisconsin. That whole big pile right there, and this is so far the only worthwhile artifact. That's right. So, okay, cool. We'll dig some more. How good is that? So you got a... Uh, what do you think it dates to? Old 7-Up. Yeah. It's still in the top crash. Oh, all right. It's just oh, top though. I'm about it. Oh, all right. We can date it to... Yeah, that's really the same, same layer as that window glass was. You think it's 49? 1949? Does that sound right? That's older. Yeah. That's the base of a hand finish. Oh yeah, it does have a... Oh, there. Yours, yeah. yeah. So this is... Got, it does have a ballerina or something on it, or a woman in a bathing suit. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, he actually likes those. Oh. Porcelain doll.
Okay, they had separated. Nice. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's sharp, actually, dude. Why did it get tossed? It's got a hole in my part of my paws. Oh, I mean, is it blown out completely? Oh, it is. But it's still a very cool piece. Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. Wow. Really I actually, I might grab that just because it's so cool. It actually yeah, shows. Are. Yeah. It'll glow under a flash of white. Yeah, yeah, I got that too. It's actually very cool. I like it. Well, I mean, if nobody claims it, it's just a cool piece. I mean, that's a good shelf piece, right? Clean it up. You know, it's blown yeah, up. The label says that it's. A lot of the early green glass is made with uranium oxide. It's slightly radioactive. That's what your depression glass is made of. This is some glass I dragged back from the hole dug on Saturday, yesterday. This is obviously a pitcher and that's the handle to it. Green probably, I'll see if it fluoresces under ultraviolet light because depression glass and anything made with uranium oxide usually fluoresces really well under ultraviolet light. This, actually we found the base to this, I glued it back on. This is what they call Vaseline glass, more in a, a greenish yellow. It's actually a pretty attractive piece. Let's clear out the scaling on it. I'll go ahead and turn these lights off and I'll turn on the UV light. See how much fluorescence we get. So you can see this Vaseline glass for sure. It actually fluoresces a lot. This other glass, not so much. Although it does do it a little bit. Sweep over the other side then, or? Yeah, I'm gonna right. throw some dirt out. Alright. Bottom of the mason jar with the patent date November 26th, something. Either 1858 or 67. Oh, okay, okay. You've already dug up two holes. <laughs> yeah. I don't. No embossing, just what they call slick sides. Put an old medicine and an old probably beer bottle here, right? Yeah, or something. Water. Water. Bottle, okay. Something. Water bottle. Kind of. What is that? Exactly. Oh. What do you think that is? It's hand finished, but it's crowned. Crown top, yeah. Crown top. Really? Everything's old and that, that thing's in there. Look at this. Whoa, there you go. Look at that. Pretty bottle. Yeah. It's got color. No, I'm Walter Scott. Yeah. Set this. Well, that's cool. And it's got color to it. That. How deep is it? This one? Yeah. About seven. Cool. Nothing but shards down there. Sweet. Really? You got something pretty good there, huh? I've never dug that. Blob top of some something. Oh, we did something right. This is, this is why when you Oh, find, there you go. You find stuff, Nate, when we come Beautiful. Out. Nice find. You see how that works, Nate? Yeah. You all see right. See how we find us out here more often, Nate? You see how that works? Yeah. Let me get a first cool. pick. All right. Maybe. Nice. Maybe. Cool. All right. You wouldn't even phone that. Chris and Volkman. So what? What's it? Probably not. So what? What does this day to? Or I would have thought that was a well. And what's the bottle say, Chris Volkman? Oh, Claire Wiss. Okay. Early soda from about 18, what did you say, 90? 1895. 1895, cool, very nice.
1895, and this is a soda bottle. Soda bottle from uh, Chris Volkman, Eau Claire, Wisconsin. Okay, yeah, cool. Down. Hex got a mug base. Okay. Awesome. Nice, nice spot. It's got wording on it, huh? Don't touch this one. Yeah, yeah you wish. No embossing. Coffin whiskey. Goes into the junk pile. Hi. It's got wording on it, huh? Don't touch this one. Yeah, all right. I'll put it up on the hood. I don't know what it says. That is neat. Yeah. Yeah, don't touch it. Don't touch see, it. See, you don't think you think that stuff will wipe off, huh? Yeah, I know it will. All right. Guarantee it will. It says French something. There you go. You get a house clean? I get a house clean. Find out what something You just gotta find a head for it. <laughs> yeah. Give me the bottles. Here's an article for you. Yeah? That's oh. A, that's a rare one. Nice. You know how rare that is, don't you? I do not. <laughs> you know how rare that one is? You know what that one is? No, but it's got nice embossing. Uh, Peter Farney. Peter Cole, oh, Farney. The rare one. Rare Farney. I like the embossed. Yeah, yeah. Dr. Peter <laughs> Kirko. I think that's how that's pronounced. Farney. Okay. Dr. <laughs> Farney, Chicago, Illinois, USA, made by Court Stop. Big bottle. There's some more mosaic stuff. Oh. <coughs> oh yeah. Pinocchi. There you go. Cool. Hoff's German liniment. Goodrich and Jennings. Noka, Minnesota. Cool. Another small bottle I dragged back from the privy hole that was dug on Saturday. This bottle says the Singer Manufacturing Company trademark. The center I think is whale and it has the letter S going to it for singer. So this bottle at one point in time had whale oil in it. In the days before they used oil from or mineral oil from oil wells. Oh, you something to hang on the wall over the supper table? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Cool. What we did was a bed cutter, bed, bed, bed cutting your bed. Oh, okay. Oh, very cool. An old ink bottle, Sanford ink. The glass in these old privy holes can be pretty colorful at times. These two pieces probably were from a stained glass window adjacent to an entryway near a front door. That'd be my guess. This is white with purple in it. It's obviously opaque. Still an attractive piece of glass. Probably something like a vase. So. 
Well, it'd be nice to try to find a way to repurpose some of this really colorful glass, make jewelry, marbles, I don't know, make something with it.